peace, mercy, and the blessing of Allah. With you, Prof. Dr. Ahudai Khaled from Tel Aviv University, Iraq, and the President of Neutrosophic Science International Association, Iraqi branch. It's not strange for the Egyptian nation to prominent scientists on the international level, like Ahmed Zouel, Majdi Jacob, Farouk al Baz, and the famous physic Mustafa Musharrafa, those four contemporary scientists. As an Arabic mathematician, it's with my honor and proudness to see other Egyptian scientists, like Prof. Ahmed Salama, are tracking their traces. I warmly thank them to choose me as a member in the High Supreme Advisory for the World Federation of the Scientists and Researchers. This is a good opportunity to introduce my warmest congrats for the occasion of launching the new Neutrosophic Knowledge Journal of Modern Science and Arts that will be issued in October 2020. Also, sincere gratefulness goes for Dr. Ahmed Salama for inviting me to the sixth international conference in the College of Nursing, Port Said University, that will be held on 10th September 2020. Finally, it's worthy to mention deserved golden medal that was awarded to esteemed Dr. Ahmed Salama is one of five gold medals that would be awarded to five eminent scientists around the world were donated from NISIA, Neutrosophic Science International Association, Iraqi branch, for his achievement in neutrosophic theory. Thank you and... Hello all, this is Rafif al Habib, Doctor in Mathematical Statistics and Programming, al Bas University, Syria. At first, I would like to extend my thanks to the founder and the president of the International Arab Nation Federation, Professor Dr. Khaled Mohammed Abdul Latif, and the Secretary General of the International Federation of Scientists and Researchers, my teacher and my wonderful father, Professor Ahmad Salama, for their support and the precious confidence in granting me membership of the World Federation of scientists and researchers, as well as choose me as a member of the Supreme Advisory Board of the World Federation of Scientists and Researchers. I pray to God to guide us with good and blessing. I congratulate all researchers in all science uh, of knowledge on the founding of uh, the modern scientist uh, journal, Metrosophic uh, Knowledge whose first publication will be in October 2020. I wish all the scientific team of the journal good luck, uh, good willing soon this uh, journal to the highest international rankings. Um, uh, I am grateful and proud of my work with the founder of Logic, uh, the wonderful professor uh, Florentes Sabardanka, and uh, with the uh, godfather of the Anthrosophic in the Arab world, professor Ahmad Salama, uh, all thanks and uh, appreciation. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye. Salam alaikum. This is Florentine Smarandachi from the University of New Mexico, United States. I'm happy to um, uh, introduce myself and then to say greetings to your conference. I have visited Egypt about 10 years ago. I went to Cairo and Alexandria and I had a presentation at a university near Alexandria. Uh, surely in the future I hope to come to Port Said University as well and uh, meet many wonderful people from this university and also to attend uh, your future conference for me, the best uh, time will be between middle of May and beginning of June when I have the uh, summer break. So let's keep in touch and maybe we uh, meet in person. I would like to congratulate uh, all professors who organized the third international conference for nursing in Port Said University which will be held on April 20th. It's especially the wonderful and very talented Professor Ahmed Salama 
and also Dr. Hiwaid El Gawalbi. I have learned a few words in Arabic when I uh, used to teach mathematics in Morocco for two years. I taught in French language, but anyway, I learned some um, expressions and I learned to count in Arabic language. So I'm happy the conference will dedicate a special session for neutrosophy and neutrosophic set and the uh, neutrosophic logic and uh, we can uh, publish all the papers related to this uh, section and topics in uh, in the proceedings of the conference if you are interested so uh, please keep in touch with professor ahmed salama who can collect all the papers and send them to me to the united states by email also i want to acknowledge the fact that uh, neutrosophic morphology has been introduced by uh, students and uh, professors from Paul Said University for the first time and I know there are some papers related to neutrosophic uh, morphology and also uh, Dr. Uh, Salama has introduced the CRISP neutrosophic set and now the set has been um, uh, studied by some researchers from uh, South Korea and they're publishing some papers. Uh, I'll keep in touch with Dr. Uh, uh, Ahmed Salama and then uh, uh, we'll see what we can do. So uh, again I express all my gratitude and uh, greetings for this conference and please uh, don't hesitate to send me messages and also you can cooperate to our journal uh, Neutrosophic Sets and Systems from the University of uh, New Mexico with papers about applications of Neutrosophy and now I say uh, Shukran Walaikum Salam. Salam Alaikum. This is Florentin Smadake, professor at the University of New Mexico in the uh, United States. And uh, it's my pleasure to salute the sixth international conference of the nursing faculty at Port Said University in Egypt on April 16, 2020, and my special thanks to Professor Salama and his team, many researchers from Egypt working in a neutrosophic field, such as um, Dr. El Agami, uh, Abdel Asset, and uh, El Sadoni, Rafif Al Habib, and Mona Gamal, Belal Amin, Ahmed Sharaf Al Din, Hissam Abu, Magdi Bagran, and others. So we are very happy for a special session on the neutrosophic uh, sets, logic, probability, statistics, and their applications in uh, nursing and medicine in general. And uh, I hope uh, Professor Salama, which is a renowned scientist, will collect all the neutrosophic papers presented at this conference, and we will uh, publish a uh, special issue of the Neutrosophic Sets and Systems International Journal as proceedings of the Sixth International Conference of Nursing uh, Faculty at uh, Paul Said University in Egypt. Again, uh, my thanks and cooperation and we hope we wish you good luck to the conference and please send me all such 
in philosophic papers presented, so we make a book. Walekum salam. Shukran. My name is Zé Carlos Tiago Oliveira. I am talking from Portugal at the invitation of uh, Professor Salama. He called me to explain the things that happen so that we are together in a same university and academic in the Eva. For that, I have to talk a little bit about Egypt, about uh, what I would say out of Africa brought to me and what is the experience uh, being had uh, these years in Malawi. Let us start by Egypt. Egypt has the main claims of science. Uh, 2000 years ago, uh, Euclid in Alexandria was writing the geometry. It's the foundation of mathematics. In the 20th century, I know at least three scientists that uh, are powerful. One is Professor uh, Salwa al Shawan, who brought to Portugal to bring ethnomusicology. And this ethnomusicology she brought here is now being studied in all the former colonies of the empire of Portugal. It was called at that time the Fifth Empire, and it came from Egypt. As is coming from Egypt, uh, also from Alexandria, Professor Mohamed El Nashie. He's the editor of the journal Solitors, Chaos and Fractals. I would say the only journal in, in the world that centralizes this very new way of trend. And here now in Port Said, we have Professor Salama, and uh, he is one of the members of this um, new current called Neotrosophy. Neotrosophy has come from both the traditions of intuitionism, which uh, separated tertium non dator principle in logic, and then the fuzziness spaces theorized by Lofty Zadeh. I think he's still alive in Azerbaijan. Well, uh, Florentius Baradance put it in applied mathematics. Victor Cristianto did it in Indonesia after studying cosmology in Moscow and being coming back home to by his face. And Professor Salama, here between us, is doing the, this application. In fact, I have a debt to Victor Cristianto. We were corresponding at the time in cosmology, and then he explained me that uh, faith brought him home. And now he tries to synthesize the Big Bang with the uh, Genesis chapter of the Bible. He submitted my name to Cyprus Evangelic University in Malawi. What is Cyprus? Essentially, the, its siege is in Austin, Texas. In Austin, there is another university, which is the Freemason University, parallel to the one of uh, Freie University, Brussels, where Nobel Prizes like Gung, Gung Engler, Prigozhin uh, uh, work, as they go working also in Austin, Texas. A smaller one is um, Cypress University. It is directed by Donald Vestal. I think he's a, a pilot from Strategic Air Command in America and an evangelic uh, faithful man who preaches. The preachers in Africa were started by Professor Gadama. Uh, the first session has been in Liberia, second in uh, Burkina Faso. Nowadays, he's vice chancellor in Malawi. And uh, in these uh, ceremonies, he ordains uh, different kinds of scholars and people of uh, prestige either, for instance, in religion, they started with some priests and, and bishops, as well as uh, in political, like speakers in the parliament, they have honored. Scholars, intellectuals, professors have came. For instance, one of my grantees in alternative, uh, alternative solar science, 
uh, flew from uh, Myanmar to Malawi. Uh, and in fact, at the time I was directing uh, Erasmus Mundus program with Asia. A few others were uh, invited and could not uh, find the way to, to, to travel. Fortunately enough, Professor Gadama financed the travel of um, Aung Se Ya. And during these years also, a great man from Egypt was honored, and he is Professor Ahmed Salama, who is in the Congress today. I hope uh, uh, his predecessor, Florentin Smaradance, is also sending um, a video like I am, and Professor Gadama, who honored him. And in fact, there is, um, I would say, a religious transfiguration. It was a small university that starts going higher and higher in ceremonies every year. Think of the following. First of all, bishops, then scholars, now kings and emperors, what we called in Angola, sobas, local monarchs from different countries in Africa. And then the, um, also higher political men, for instance, the president of the Republic of Mozambique, the land of my father, well, he was honored uh, last year. And, uh, well, let me talk a little bit about my father. He's also an out of Africa personality. He was the best student ever in Mozambique, and Mozambique was not developed at that time. So there was a grant for him, and uh, also for a, a black poet. When white and one black came uh, in the same boat, and then he became the founder of Statistics of Extremes here in Portugal. And as democracy came, he was the first um, Secretary of State to make a, a structure for science in Portugal. So out of Mozambique comes also in moments of difficulty, comes the best of spirit. And in Malawi also, for instance, since we are in a um, colloquium of nursery, let me refer the, um, I would say, the main personality that was uh, honored last year, Bruno Garnero. He's a commander in the Navy of France. He was specialized in parapetism and in the uh, way of uh, controlling the health of pi uh, naval pilots going up and down for, uh, from uh, airplanes carriers. And then he had lessons from a spiritual master in Japan. He developed um, a way by respiration, and by respiration he's treating diseases like um, AIDS, like allergies, like cancer. So you see, Commander, uh, he was Nobel Prize of, uh, Prize of Peace because he went to Lebanon and essentially when there was a bombardment he went to the houses as a good neighbor of the bombarded peoples either he went to Muslims or to Christians and, and, and then well he had two honors in life at least one the Nobel Prize of Peace the other the professorship at Cyprus University and that he was side by side with Professor Salama. So this is my, the info I have to share with you and I may, I may send all of it in a written form by links to every bit of information here. Thank you very much, bye. Salamu Alaikum. Uh, this is Florentin Smarandaci from the University of New Mexico, United States, the Department of Mathematics, and I salute the new conference from Port Said University, Egypt, and especially Professor Ahmed Salama and his team of researchers, students and faculty that did research in um, neutrosophy, a new branch of philosophy, and uh, neutrosophic set and logic and especially neutrosophic crisp 
topology and eutrophic topology that uh, Professor Ahmed Salama and uh, his um, many uh, uh, scientists connected with him uh, have um, did research and published many papers and books. So I hope the conference will be again a success and uh, the special session on neutrosophic set and neutrosophic logic, neutrosophic topology will be um, uh, very good. And um, I propose the presenters, students, faculties and other researchers in this section to collect all neutrosophic papers and we can publish online and on paper a uh, proceedings of the conference of nursing from Paul Said University uh, from uh, October 2018 publish it as a book and put it online and then uh, also send it to many um, institutions and libraries around the world and again um, thank you very much and shukran salam alaikum it's my opportunity pleasure and honor to salute the professors of port said and to salute the professionals and students of the new generations in nursing for the beginning of the um, sixth congress that today takes take place at al Fairuz, uh, organized by the Port Said University Faculty of Nursing, but above all by the great professor Ahmed Salama, the man I am in contact for a few years and whose uh, research in eutrophy I have been following since the beginning. In fact, two processes are, have started essentially at the same time. The connection of uh, neutrosophic philosophy applied both to physics, both to science, both to health, and applied by the initiation of Professor Lofti Zadeh from Uzbekistan or Azerbaijan. He's a professor that um, made the um, completely new notion of fuzzy sets. With this notion, with um, a, a, a relation, non-transitive, a, a, a mathematical system and logic with a third value has been developed by name of Eutrodophy. Started essentially by Professor Florentin Samaros and Maradanti, then in Romania, now at New Mexico, and uh, inshallah, we shall first come to Egypt next May in a Congress where perhaps, inshallah, I'll be able to attend and to meet you there. Uh, in any case, my sp speech goes into the academic eulogy of Professor, uh, of Professor Ahmed Salama. In fact, it's an act we do here in Portugal, South Europe. We do it um, in the university when we welcome uh, full professors called catedraticos in honoris causa act. Professor um, Ahmed Salama is one of the scientists I follow the most in Egypt. The other is Mohammed al Nashir. And um, al Nashir has a, a, a new idea. He's the organizer of one magazine, peer reviewed, um, on cows, solitons, and fractals. There is another one uh, only on fractals. So this is one of, of the most generalized and uh, abrangent notions in applied mathematics. The other applied mathematics uh, that is done in Port Said and now in Al-Faruz and I think also in al -Arish in Egypt is Neutrosophy. And uh, elsewhere, I must remember the names of Victor Christiansen, who put us in contact. In fact, our first contact had to do with Professor Ahmed Salama, recognition in Malawi, Cyprus University. And from there, uh, I have the like two ways in life. My father brought me into mathematics 
and he brought me into science. He was a socialist and he was the first man in the government of socialists after our democratic revolution in 74. In 77, he occupied the first, for the first time in Portuguese history the degree of science. And my mother was a pharmacian. In a certain way, she was close to the students that we are having here in this meeting uh, today. So my father and my mother unite themselves in the homage I pay as a tribute to Professor Ahmed Salama. And uh, this way of applying mathematics to health sciences remembers me well a thing that I started from the beginning, so many years ago, theoretical biology. It was started by um, Waddington. And then uh, Eric Christopher Zeman came from Warwick with the um, fuzzy spaces, so similar to the ones of Loftis out there, to the ones that give rise to the beginning of neutrosophy. And then René Tom, the one with the catastrophe theory, that means the um, theory of discontinuities emerging, and that went into morphogenesis. So, for different ways, fuzziness in the beginning, then morphology in one of the ways which has to do with the mathematics of continuous versus the continuous. And then, I what I would say, the philosophy of uh, third way, like intuition is said, not exactly truth, not exactly false, something like in between, something like um, an interrogation mark, something like a third or more than one third domain of truth. In fact, Newton da Costa in Brazil, still alive, uh, made logic with three, four, five, infinity. Um, those of truth, well, neutrality is one of them and is the most applied in the world. Therefore, I pay my tribute again to Port Said University, to the sixth assembly of nursing professors and students, and above all, to my close friend, Professor Ahmed Sarwan. Bismillah. Thank you. Salam alaikum. It is my great pleasure and honor to talk once again to Professor Ahmed Salam. We have been together in uh, Cyprus University in recognition, and then we are together now in Malinskaya Academy um, in Moscow. In fact, uh, another professor from uh, Egypt is there, Madame Bohra. We are working together uh, in some senses of the um, term working and in senses of togetherness. We belong to the same scientific associations. We have from the basis a mathematical preparation and uh, Professor Salama, more than me, went into the health sciences. In fact, he did the um, necessary issues to make a school of nursing to whom I spoke last year once in a shorter video. And um, also, this year she's preparing in Fairuz uh, in April a Congress. And then it appears that, uh, inshallah, the Professor Fronitins Maradance and uh, me, we are going to stay for some time working in Egypt with your team. Allow me to talk a little bit about myself. I am lesser than my father. My father was once, once in Egypt in 1991 in a statistics congress uh, in Cairo. In fact, my father is the founder of statistics in Portugal. My father was African. My father was African from Mozambique and founded the statistics of extremes. My father was in 77, the first secretary of state for science in a socialist government, government who was the first constitutional government in uh, democracy. 
In fact, he is one of the founders of the Socialist Party. She was, uh, he was State Secretary for Science and he put research in the universities. There is a small similarity at a lesser scale that he did in Egypt, the biggest uh, and uh, longest in time uh, museum of the world is the one in Cairo. And my father uh, brought to Portugal a smaller museum of anthropology. My father um, did uh, this job for a short time. In fact, he died early of a heart attack. He died younger than me. And so how I followed him, I followed him in the history and philosophy of sciences. And somehow I brought them to Africa, where that he left in the youth. Essentially, I built mathematics and philosophy in Cape Verde, and then I worked uh, eastward. I went to the Pacific and did the same, essentially, in, in Timor. Nowadays, it appears in Chala, with luck that we are cooperating together. I shall be there in a congress, and I, I hope to prolongate my stay if for a longer time. I hope that there will be an investment similar from the Egyptian government, namely at national and at local level in the School of Neutrography, uh, as my father has done in a way similar, first as professor and secondly as a government member. In fact, my father built the scientific centers in the universities, and if I understand well, the Torah of people already has in Egypt a uh, uh, television to whom I think I'm talking now, and has also a group of mathematics. I hope the product becomes a recognized current for science in Egypt. In fact, Egypt, I follow for a long time what Egypt uh, did in sciences. I cannot forget that Euclid lived in Egypt, in Alexandria, and he built the elements of, for the basis of geometry. And nowadays in Alexandria, we have the pioneer, Professor El Nashian, the pioneer of chaos, solitons, and fractals. In our center, uh, not in our center, sorry, in our Moscow Academy, Malinskaya, we have Professor Salama, we have Professor Madame uh, Bouchera. And the other most important person for culture and for the history of mankind is Minister Awas. It appears that uh, in the last December, like a Christmas present, he went to Curitiba to build the Museum of Pharaons. And he built it in a, in a, I would say, a spiritual center where I was once, the Rosicrucian Center. I attended there to a ceremony of uh, spiritual initiation made in the sense of the pharaohs. In fact, it, it, it appears that one of the main pharaohs about 25 centuries ago was the father of the father of the Russian in a spiritual way of um, presenting it. Now it appears that uh, I have to talk a little bit about philosophy. I see it as a philosopher. In the history of my, my philosophy, I learned with my father, there were three domains, nominalia. Nominalia ante rem, it was platonicism. Nominalia in rem, the names and the things. It was as a Aristotelianism that uh, it gave uh, formalism in mathematics. And then Abelardus made the nominalia post -rem. It really would arise to the uh, concept of mathematics that is called intuitionism. Well, I think the neutrality with the third domain of truth is one of the applications of intuitionism to applied mathematics. And I see another one, and this other one is the one I shall try to bring to Egypt for the first time. It is called transdisciplinarity, which has been founded by Bassara Nicolescu from Romania, still alive. It has a few Nobel Prizes inside. It's always the idea of a logic uh, with more value, approaching different levels of reality, approaching 
philosophy of science approaching complexity. So this is another dimension complementary to the philosophy that I think will arrive to Egypt, inshallah, next May. The other thing I might bring, if uh, it is interesting, would be our Center of Philosophy of Sciences and the information from our UNESCO chair on intangible heritage. In the place of the world where that heritage is the most tangible. Therefore, I'll keep uh, uh, the, uh, everyday contact with Professor Salama and with all that are interested in uh, corresponding with me. And then from May on, inshallah, I hope, I will stay for a very long time in Egypt. For that. Nowadays, I'm, unfortunately, I'm retired and free. And I hope I, I can uh, share my little knowledge and great force of work. Bismillah. Thank you. Bye. Let me tell you, Africa, Africa is a glorious continent. Africa is rich in everything. You understand? But something has happened in Africa. What is it? The chief cornerstone of academics has been removed. That's why Africa is sinking. What you know? is to beg for the wise. Do you understand me? Do you understand? But originally, it was not so. You get my point? When Africans who know the mystery beneath education, it will rise. By the way, it is rising already. day. I want each and every one of you to understand this. The God bless you so much. Thank you. And uh, the category I'm about to read to you is Professor of Mathematics and Computer Science. This person is from Egypt, Ahmed Abdikari Ahmed Salama, a very, very big round of applause. The Professor Salama from Egypt. He is getting, he's being awarded professorship in mathematics and computer science. A big, big, big round of applause. Moving on, Professor of Computer Science. Professor of Computer Science. This first one is from Turkey. Ilfan Deri. Ilfan Deri from Turkey. A big, big round of applause, please. The last person in the category, professorship category. May I now invite an Egyptian colleague who is ready to make a presentation. Let's give him a big round of applause, please.
my hand and my fist steps on the pure land of Malawi, the land of the purest hearts and the brightest future. Also, thank you for your generosity and hospitality. Till Thompson, that I will never forget and I hope to receive you one day in my country. <laughs> to return part of your generosity and warm welcome. I hope that our work during the session of this conference will be led will be led to great development that our nation need and deserve. I am sure that the future will carry more and more good news for the people who were who were touched for long years and now the fraud is coming as represented in the young group of young graduates. Who he will put our dreams into reality. From the land of Egypt, the land that hosted our religion, where Moses was born, and Jesus and Jesus was protected, I am coming with the message of love, tolerance, peace, and cooperation. I do hope that this conference will be will be repeated on a regular basis to sensation the message of mutual love and welfare. Open, uh, I on this concept I hope that the protocol of continuous cooperation will be signed to make sure that this great gathering will happen in the future to assure the idea of continuous achievement of the dreams of the family of humans. In Africa, the dearest or elsewhere in the whole world, we sons of Adam and Eve were born to love each other and live with each other, to help each other, to exchange the knowledge and experience, to put that through cooperation, we can benefit the whole world. Finally, I would like to express my sense of thanks to the President of the Republic of Malawi, Prof. Arthur Peter, for the chance in which he was honored to step on this great land and I hope that he will take the hands of this people to a very bright future. Also I would like, I would love to extend my deepest graduates to Professor Clementon, the able to go to university. Uh, me to be honored and participate in this conference. Also, thank you, Professor, thank you, Professor Kadama, the great human in the world, for his supportive and very warm welcome. I also hope that we will use this chance, this chance for keeping our cooperation and establishing strong bridges for a great future for the generation to come. Thank you.
presentation of the first part of Professor Salama's cooperation with scientists and researchers around the world. It is my great pleasure and honor to talk once again to Professor Ahmed Salama. We have been together in uh, Cyprus University in recognition, and then we are together now in Malinskaya Academy um, in Moscow. In fact, uh, another professor from uh, Egypt is there, Madame Bostra. We are working together uh, in some senses of the um, term working and in senses of togetherness. We belong to the same scientific associations. We have from the basis a mathematical preparation and uh, Professor Salama, more than me, went into the health sciences. In fact, he did the um, necessary issues to make a school of nursing to whom I spoke last year once in a shorter video. And um, also this year she's preparing in Fairuz, uh in April, a Congress. And then it appears that uh, inshallah, the Professor Florentin Smaradance and uh, me, we are going to stay for some time working in Egypt with your team. Allow me to talk a little bit about myself. I am less than my father. My father was once in Egypt in 1991 in a statistics congress uh, in Cairo. In fact, my father is the founder of statistics in Portugal. My father was African. My father was African from Mozambique and founded the statistics of extremes. My father was in 77, the first secretary of state for science in a socialist government, government who was the first constitutional government in uh, democracy. In fact, he's one of the founders of the socialist party. She was, uh, he was state secretary for science and he put research in the universities. There is a small similarity at a lesser scale that he did in Egypt, the biggest uh, and uh, longest in time uh, museum of the world is the one in Cairo. And my father uh, brought to Portugal a smaller museum of anthropology. My father um, did uh, this job for a short time. In fact, he died early of a heart attack. He died younger than me. And somehow I followed him. I followed him in the history and philosophy of sciences. And somehow I brought them to Africa, where that he left in the youth. Essentially, I built mathematics and philosophy in Cape Verde. And then I worked uh, eastward. I went to the Pacific and did the same, essentially, in, in Timor. Nowadays, it appears, inshallah, with luck that we are cooperating together. I shall be there in a congress and I, I hope to prolongate my stay if for a longer time. I hope that there will be an investment similar from the Egyptian government, namely at national and at local level in the School of Neutrography, uh, as my father has done in a way similar, first as professor and secondly as a government member. In fact, my father built the scientific centers in the universities. And if I understand well, the Torah of people already has in Egypt a uh, uh, television to whom I think I'm talking now and has also a group of mathematics. I hope the Torah of becomes a recognized current for science in Egypt. In fact, Egypt, I follow for a long time what Egypt uh, did in sciences. I cannot forget that Euclid lived in Egypt, in Alexandria, and he built the elements of, for the basis of geometry. And nowadays in Alexandria, we have the pioneer, Professor El Nashian, the pioneer of chaos, solitons, and fractals. In our center, uh, not in our center, sorry, in our Moscow Academy, Malinskaya, we have Professor Salama, we have Professor Madame uh, Bushra. 
and the other most important person for culture and for the history of mankind is Minister Awas. It appears that in the last December, like a Christmas present, he went to Curitiba to build the Museum of Erdogan. And he built it in a, in a, I would say, a spiritual center where I was once, the Rosicrucian Center. I attended there to a ceremony of uh, spiritual initiation made in the sense of the pharaohs. In fact, it, it, it appears that one of the main pharaohs about 25 centuries ago was the father of the father of the Rosicrucian in a spiritual way of um, presenting it. Now it appears that uh, I have to talk a little bit about the philosophy. I see it as a philosopher. In the history of my, my philosophy, I learned with my father, there were three domains in nominalia. Nominalia ante rem, it was Platonicism. Nominalia in rem, the names and the things. It was as Aristotelianism that uh, gave uh, formalism in mathematics. And then Abelardus made the nominalia post -rem. It gave the rise to the uh, concept of mathematics that is called intuitionism. Well, I think the neutrosophy with the third domain of truth is one of the applications of intuitionism to applied mathematics. And I see another one, and this other one is the one I shall try to bring to Egypt for the first time. It is called Transdisciplinarity. It has been founded by Basara Nicolescu from Romania, still alive. It has a few Nobel Prizes inside. It's always the idea of a logic uh, with more value, approaching different levels of reality, approaching philosophy. Of science approaching complexity. So this is another dimension complementary to neutrosophism. I think we'll arrive to Egypt, inshallah, next May. The other thing I might bring, if uh, it is interesting, would be our Center of Philosophy of Sciences and the information from our UNESCO chair on intangible heritage in the place of the world where the heritage is the most tangible. Therefore, I'll keep uh, uh, the, uh, everyday contact with Professor Salama and with all that are interested in uh, corresponding with me. And then from May on, inshallah, I hope, I will say for a very long time in Egypt, but that nowadays, unfortunately, I'm retired and free. And I hope I, I can share my little knowledge and great force of work. Bismillah. Thank you. Bye. Hello, everyone. This is Madeleine Tahan, a math researcher from Lebanese International University, Lebanon. First, I'd like to thank Dr. Salama for putting his trust in me and nominating me to be one of the Supreme Advisory Board for the World Federation for Scientists and Researchers. Such a World Federation is of the very few found in our Arab countries, and indeed, it's of great importance for researchers, and in particular for Arab researchers, to have such an international community. Second, I'd like to take the occasion to congratulate Dr. Salama, Dr. Ismail and Dash, my dearest, and Dr. Yasser for the launching of their new journal, Journal of Modern Science and Arts, in which its first volume will going to be released on October 2020. Finally, I want to wish best of luck for the World Federation for Scientists and Researchers and also for the journal to achieve their desired goals. Hello everyone, I am Asma Hassan Shoaib, 4th level Faculty of Nursing, Mansoura University, Egypt. I would like to thank Dr. Ahmed Salama, Secretary General of Federation, to his kind invitation to be one of the world-led Federation scientists in America. 
during my presentation of the study about the effectiveness of ketogenic diet and treatment of epilepsy patients at Sex International Conference, Faculty of Nursing, Porto Said University. All thanks and appreciation for his choice and support for me. I also sincerely, finally, I hope to link between microscopic science and nursing science in order to provide the best medical research. Thank you very much. Hello all, this is Rafib al Habib, Doctor in Mathematical Statistics and Programming, al Bas University, Syria. At first, I would like to extend my thanks to the founder and the president of the International Arab Nation Federation, Professor Dr. Khaled Mohammed Abdel Latif, and the Secretary General of the International Federation of Scientists and Researchers, my teacher and my wonderful father, Professor Ahmad Salama, for their support and the precious confidence in granting me membership of the World Federation of Scientists and Researchers, as well as choose me as a member of the Supreme Advisory Board of the World Federation of Scientists and Researchers. I pray to God to guide us with good and blessing. I congratulate all researchers in all science uh, of knowledge on the founding of uh, the modern scientist uh, journal, Metrosophic Knowledge whose first publication will be in October 2020. I wish all the scientific team of the journal good luck. Uh, good willing soon this uh, journal took the highest international rankings. Um, uh, I am grateful and proud of my work with the founder of Logic, uh, the wonderful professor uh, Florente Samardanka, and uh, with the uh, godfather of the Anthrosophic in the Arab world, professor Ahmad Salama, uh, all thanks and uh, appreciation. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. This is Karim Alabid, a political science and media researcher from Lebanon, from the Lebanese International University. First, I'd like to thank the General Secretary, Dr. Ahmad Salama, and for their trust and for nominating me uh, to be one of the advisor board at the World Federation for Scientists and Researchers. This federation is an add-on for all Arab researchers and the Arab world as well, and a good opportunity for every one of us to have an international community. Finally, I wish the best of luck for the World Federation for Scientists and Researchers, and I promise to give my best to achieve all our goals together and we will always rise with our countries and Arab countries as well to the better tomorrow. Thank you.